Good tune, Link. We've got a wee list of the bands. <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> That was Steal the Sun and Solving Your Own Problems right here on the sessions on 107.6. I've been joined in the studio with the Supermoons. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Thank you very much for coming. And you come to the microphones when you're talking to me, oh, gentlemen. Good. Um, tell me a bit about your band. We are the Supermoons. We are from Edinburgh and uh -huh. the surrounding area. Uh, we've been on the go for, what, about a year? Right, so September. Yeah, a year, so uh, there are five of us. I'm Jeff, this is Dad, oh, yeah. we've got James, uh, Jason, and hello. Christoph. Hello. Christoph from my left here, hello, Christoph. Hello. Yeah, hello. So we've got an EP out uh, on Monday, uh -huh. which uh, is in front of the camera there now, so we're going to play a few songs from that. Uh, tell me about the first song we're going to do then. song is called The Bus Stop, and um, I work in a place where many bus stops uh, have been smashed up. So okay. that was kind of the inspiration was I went past bus stops so many times during the day that I thought might as well write a song about it. Fair <laughs> so that's how it came about. But yeah. Uh, just go on your ready, guys. No worries, the bus stop.
are the Super Moons right here in the session to own 107.6. Thank you very much for that tracking track. Nice I was one. almost singing along to that chorus there, guys. I was. That was catchy then. It was a wee bit catchy. I'm uh, <laughs> holding myself most singing along. That's nice. the first track on your EP? Uh, it is indeed, indeed yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for that. Are these exclusives for East Coast? Have you played these songs like this before? Uh, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. Played, no. No, we haven't. This no. is exclusive, yes. This is the yes. plugged in unplugged sessions. Indeed. <laughs> in, yes. Indeed. Yes. Ah, yeah. plugged. Something plugged like in that, unplugged. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. There's somewhere between full band setup and unplugged, isn't it? Aye, aye. No, normally when you play, do you have a full band setup, full drum kit? Yeah. Full, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. said three yeah. guitars? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Two, two guitars. I'm always, on, I'm always on the acoustic, and they are they are electric. Right. So, yeah. Okay. That's absolutely good. Plus, yeah, 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 plus some experimental work with Mike A, the keyboard player. Oh, yeah, yeah, player. yeah so I'm the keyboard player, yeah, right? A, we're five and a half. I don't think Mikey will get this in Malaga, but all right, Mikey. <laughs> no, Mikey on our Facebook page. <laughs> do you well. so, uh, people are tuned in on our Facebook page, how can they be in touch? Have you got a Facebook page? Have you got a Twitter feed, a SoundCloud, a YouTube we channel? Do, yeah, we've got a Facebook page, which is the Super Moons Band, so you can find us on that. That's probably the best place. We've also got a Twitter page, which is the moons band i think okay um and we're we've got a band camp site as well which is uh, where we're trying to promote the, the ep which is um the supermoons.bandcamp.com brilliant what we'll do before we finish when we're finished before we before you shoot off we'll get a cheesy picture underneath the east coast fm banner sure. a cheesy selfie oh, and we'll put our east coast tag on it and then you guys can tag yourselves in it and we'll do all the okay. connect all the social sure. medias back and forward Let's move on to track number two. Tell me about the second song. This is a song called um, Come Alive. Uh, I wrote this uh, last year. I had a had a job that I didn't particularly like, which was Did quite it? good for inspiration. <laughs> but, um, some okay. songs. So this is just a song. I, can't, I think I described it as it's a bit rubbish, but it could be better. Not the song, the general, <laughs> the the theme, general of theme of it. Yeah. <laughs> just go when you're ready. Thanks, sir.
That was coming live by the Supermoons right here on the sessions on 107.6. We had the wee, the, the, the egg shaker there at the end, but I pissed off right off my left hand side. Funny ending. Funny ending. Funny ending. Comedy ending there. Nice touch. Um, thank you very much. Um, what track and track? Again, I was almost going to try my best not to. I won't. I won't. I'm not allowed to say I won't be told. I'm not allowed to. Yeah, feel free. No, no, no. You might get a job if you. I might. Cheers, Jess. Right. We've got EP to mention again, but we've got some gigs written on this sheet of paper in front of me. Mention the gigs just now. Tell me where people can come and see us. So we've got a gig on Saturday at Leaf Depot, uh -huh. which is now sold out. Um, right, okay. So, uh, that's so the first one. Can't even, so don't come for that. Come that one, right? but coming up in uh, Edinburgh, we are playing on the 22nd of June at Sneaky Pete's. Um, and we're also playing on 4th of July at the Brig Below in Leaf Walk. Um, and we're also playing on Sunday, there's a street food festival on at the Three Sisters. All right, okay. Um, and we're playing at that with a load of other bands, and we should be on about, around about half past four, I think. But yeah. that should be a good day out anyway, so. Yeah. And are they all tickets or around the door, or is it um, freebies? I, I believe the, the street food festival on Sunday is just a f freebie TV? turn right. up. Mm -hmm. the, the Sneaky Peaks gig and the Brig Below one, I think, are will be tickets. Um, so we'll put the details of that on our uh, Facebook page as soon as we've got them. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, we're kind of getting rattled through these songs quite quick tonight, but I'm really enjoying myself. Um, let's, move, let's move on to track number three. We'll mention the gigs again before we, before we finish. Sure. Of course yeah. we will. Um, let's move on to track number three. Uh, this is a song called Working for the Man that I wrote, <laughs> which follows on a similar theme to the previous song. <laughs> <laughs> same job, same man. Same yeah, right about the same time, yeah, they came up with this one, so... Um, okay, we've got a lot to like, thank for from that. I got like... Middle-aged frustration. It's a lot easier to write stuff when you're miserable. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the beach in the east, was it, was it Thailand? Yeah, I was sitting at there. work thinking, I wish I was somewhere else. Like Thailand, yeah. on the beach. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm not going to ask anyone. I can't even further. It's not past no, okay. nine o'clock. It's not past nine o'clock. Okay, so working for the man.
by the Supermoons right here on the sessions on 107.6. Thank you very much again, gentlemen. Um, we didn't, well, we kind of have mentioned what everybody does individually. It's a bigger band, there's you know, more guitars, but uh, James, you're there doing backing vocals and you don't have a microphone. No, I don't. So but, you probably can't hear me. I just can hear you, so <laughs> I just want to mention that, that you're there giving it heart and soul and we can hear everybody else all the bit. It's a shame, it sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> you should have to me. Well, the mic was so low, I thought that was a joke, so... No, 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 no. I'm starting to duck down. Uh, I didn't notice that, and I thought I'd better mention it. Right. Um, the EP, we've got five tracks. Where is it available? How can people get to it? Um, it's available... So it's, it's actually released on Monday. You can pre-order it now. Right, so it's not out yet, OK. You can pre-order it now from the supermoons.bandcamp.com. Right, or okay. It's actually out on um, an Edinburgh record label called Infinite Hive, which is... Run by a friend of mine called John. Enjoy boy. Hello, John. John. Hello. Um, and they're on infinitehive.com, so you can go on there and you can order it right now, and it will be sent to you immediately. Well, uh huh. Is it? And then obviously we'll be selling them at our um, gigs. And, our gigs. So and do you know if it will be available on iTunes? Yes. Spotify? So as of Monday, it will be on. I've got a list there: Spotify, mm -hmm. Amazon Music, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Bandcamp, Bandcamp, Bandcamp. still, uh, and Amazon as well. Absolutely brilliant. Um, how much is it? It's five pounds. Five pounds for five songs. I think it's a bargain. Can not oh, go I, wrong with that? It's an investment, is what it is. <laughs> it's an investment, <laughs> indeed. Um, where was it recorded? How did you? How did you get involved with the company? Tell me more so about where we story. rehearsed. Um, first of all, we rehearsed in the substation in Rasyth, um, and they had recording facilities there. Right. So we were re again practicing for a while, and then eventually we, we decided to take the plunge and go and do the five songs with okay. a guy called Michael Brennan. So, it's not uh, Mick, is it? Yeah, Mick. Oh, Mick. Yeah. Big, yeah. Mick. Big, Mick and, big, so big Mick and wee, wee Mick. Oh, Mick yeah, and yeah, Mick. and so. there's a couple of engineers there, Duncan. That's right. Yeah, so, yeah, Duncan, yeah. so Duncan was involved in it as well. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great, and, yeah. I know the guys yeah, from... Yeah. Yeah. Good lads. Give them a, I'll, I'll talk to them on Saturday night. Oh, wonderful. Uh, okay. I will see them on Saturday night. I don't know if we'll see Duncan actually, but I'll yeah, mention that know, again off air. Well, they did a great job. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, they did a great job. And I'll, uh, we haven't done it yet, but I'll, I'll send them one of these through just so they can. That'd yeah, be brilliant. They've yeah, managed to find time for the supermoons in amongst mixing for Nazareth. Oh, that's right. All of these, yeah, 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 yeah. All of these pretty big bands. It was a little bit intimidating, to be honest, but he, <laughs> he made us feel right at home. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was, yeah. it was our yeah, it first time recording anything as well, so it was quite an interesting Just ask him about tuning, though. Right. Yeah. Well, do I'll see. I will. He's big on tuning. <laughs> keeping in tune. Oh, oh, he's realised he's big on tuning, and apparently <laughs> we, we are not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, 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 I better explain. I work for a band. I'm not going to mention names because of publicity and all the <laughs> advertising nonsense. But Mick is the sound engineer for the band. Oh, so right, I see him once okay. once, a, once a fortnight. It was the last time I spoke, it was somewhere about in France or something. He was, he was in Boston properties. last week. He was on right. holiday. Ah, yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we like to think he springboarded his career. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 he was yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question now that we didn't discuss off air. I'm going to throw you a bit of a curveball, right? As a band, how do you go about writing your songs? Is it one person that brings an idea to the table or does it happen as a... Um, yeah, the, there's, the, it has been, yeah, it has been one person, and then we've all kind of worked on it together. Um, I yeah. suspect going forward there might be a bit more of the um, we just do it all together because right. we're, we're kind of heading that way. I think for the yeah, I think one, one of the some five wicked of us, riffs we need to. One of the on. five of us must be due to get sacked off with their job and <laughs> stop the and then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've probably yeah. got a couple of songs in me. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> uh, generally I sort of myself. I mean that bus stop song was from just Yonks driving ago, past the bus stop. Yeah. So, uh, That's fair enough. So yeah, and then brilliant. just to keep to hear it from just me with a guitar to a full <laughs> setup was brilliant. You know, it's really yeah. good. Time, so. I think we we we've got different. I mean, I like I quite like writing lyrics. Um, as James, for example, keeps coming up with tunes or bits of tunes. So uh -huh. I think it's just going to be a case of trying mm, to put yeah. um, put the different components together and. Um, up with something so we'll we'll i think there'll be a lot more of that as we go forward okay um blossom it sounds absolutely brilliant i'm really enjoying myself um thank, thank you very much, much. Very much. Well, let's, let's move on to track number four so this is not a song about moaning uh, this is uh yes. pretty much a love song for my wife oh, that i wrote oh, so um, oh, hold you. this is called in season that's good okay 
Beautiful sight, isn't it? <laughs>